Hey everyone, hope you're doing really well. So just thought I'd do a quick video about some safety tips with a chisel. Sort of five things I could think off the top of my head. Now, a lot of people classify themselves as like a, a bit of a power tool worker or mainly a hand tool woodworker. And there can be a bit of banter to and fro between both groups thinking about, you know, oh, I don't like power tools because they're dangerous. And, you know, the other way, you know, you backward people using your hand tools, you know, all good fun. I haven't got a problem with that. Um, but for the hand tool worker, woodworkers that are attracted to this because they think it's low risk, there's certainly one tool group in particular, which I've seen in my professional woodworking account for probably more injuries than anything else. And that's the chisel. Now, first thing I would say is recommend thinking, you, you say you think about this a bit like a gun. Um, you know, this is the barrel. Assume there's no safety catch and it could just go off at any time. You'd never want to put your hand in front of that gun, regardless of whether there was a safety catch or not. You just keep your hands behind it. Now, most of us are dominant handed. You're either right or left handed. I'm one of the commoners. I'm a right handed. So you have a lot of people, they would maybe cramp a work piece down. And then with this hand, they would move towards it. And I've seen it happen. And I saw it happen quite recently. Luckily, they didn't get injured because we intervened and stopped it. But what happens is they build up tension. Something's not cutting. And then slip. It goes straight across, slices things up. And that can happen anywhere. You can slice all meaty parts up and make a real mess out of your hand. So always, when you're working, hands have to be behind the cutting edge. That's massively important. Okay, with the sharpening that you've seen me doing, um, if you're checking for a burr, you've got to be careful to make sure your finger, when it moves, can move this way and away. It can't come this way and it can't come that way to check for a burr. If you do, you're introducing your finger to a cutting edge. This way it's slipping away and there you can sense for the burr. Same that way, you follow that angle off. Okay, but you can't come in this way because you're going to cut yourself. So only look for a burr that way. That's what you do. The other thing you want to do is make sure these are kept really nice and sharp. Um, having tools which are blunt, especially chisels, is you get more and more tension and more and more force, the more chances there of not only just bad quality outcomes, but you slip. Best case, you damage your work. Worst case, again, if you're forcing and rushing, you're more likely to do something stupid than have your offhand there you slip into it and you cut yourself. Make sure you keep your stuff sharp. It's quick and it's easy. You're gonna to need to master that. It's not difficult. The other thing I want to do is I wanna keep these things secure. I wanna know where they are pretty much at all times. Number one, because I don't want somebody um, on my behalf loaning out my tools to someone else to then who uses one of my nice chisels to lever off the lid off of a paint tin. But also these could be nasty little weapons if they fall into the wrong hands or if a kid picks them up and falls onto one. You think like a small quarter inch chisel, if someone fell onto that, you're gonna impale yourself or, you know, it's a pretty horrible little weapon. Um, and the other thing to do is when they're stored, think about having a chisel roll, storage box or a good tool rack to keep them in. Not sort of floating around. Some racks, the edges of the tools can just be floating around. There's always a risk that you move your hands along there after hanging from a rack and then you cut yourself. Same if they're in a, a tool tray somewhere, just rummaging around. Make sure that you can't cut yourself when you're moving around. And if you've gone to that extent, what you're also going to do is you're going to be protecting your edges because if the chisels can't come into contact with you and they're in a nice little storage situation, they're not going to get chipped and dinged and they're going to stay nice and sharp. So chisels... They are the most dangerous part of hand tool woodworking, in my opinion, um, apart from wood dust, um, which is something that afflicts all woodworkers. You've got to be really careful with it. But chisels, treat them with respect and you're going to be just fine.